What is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another sneaker review. Another one. So, and unfortunately, we will not be putting this one on feet because it is a minor, minor size, but it is debatably the most slept on sneaker. Well, I don't want to say most slept on, but definitely one of the most limited sneakers to come out of All-Star Weekend 2020. It's already February. I mean, it's already March. It's already March 1st, and we're still talking about All-Star Weekend just because the releases that came out of that weekend were insane. Like, I want to say top, probably the top... So far, the top, like, five releases of the year. We're definitely at All-Star Weekend. Like, we had Off-Way 5s, the Airships, we had the Yeezy Quantums. We had these right here, the Air Force Don C, kind of Mer Virgil Abloh MCA-inspired Air Force 1s. And it was just hectic. It was a lot. We just came off of friggin' Travis Scott SB Bender that was stupid limited. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Backdoor was heavy at a lot of establishments, and that's just how it is. Unfortunately, my pair, however, will be coming soon for you guys for the on fear review as well as maybe a picture on the gram as well. But before I start, I do want to let you guys know we do have a free giveaway going on on Instagram right now. It's very, very simple. All you gotta do is follow me at Thomas Severco, follow at Harlan Reseller, like the post with me rocking them beautiful Strange Love SBs, and tag three friends in the comments below, and that's it. You're done, you're entered. Enter on both pages if you would like. Let's run it up and absolutely free. Last winner got the off-white dunks in the green color for free. Already shipped to him. Done in hand. Uh, here for kicks was actually the past winner. So shout out to him for winning that. Next one will be run a little bit more organized. And by the way, the winner will be announced live within about a week and a half from today. And we're going to try to put it on YouTube as well. But here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. You can follow my other social media as well. Why that? You know, ShoptimeboyTV.com as, as well. You heard? So we do have the Air Force One just high just done now this one's really really weird because it looks like there's a label already under this label it is a u.s size eight and to tell you guys the truth it is a universally blue blue caroline which is almost the exact same color as the mcas it looks damn near identical i don't know if he really tried to copy them and all that but it does look like man's did come straight off like the Virgil Abloh wave, I mean, that was very, very similar. There's no denying that. And retail was $200. Now, the way that these did come out, we did have it released online on Amex's, Amex, American Express's website. I did have a direct link to Chicago, to Don C's website. He's, you know, he's a predecessor of Chicago Streetwear, so I did have to mention he is from Chicago. He's an all-time great artist. He's known for a lot, a lot of great stuff in his past, as well as I'm sure he's a lot of great stuff coming in the future. And does also have the same box as the MCAs. You can see there's force slightly embossed into the front cover you guys see shining in the light but this was a collaboration with american express basically i guess he was commissioned by american express to do a collaboration with nike it doesn't have any american express branding on it which thankfully it doesn't because i feel like if it does it if it did it would have looked very very corny uh but it doesn't so it, thank thankfully so and it is officially a collaboration with them but the way that it does come in the box you got force right here right small size so it's a pretty small box we do have force and all over the paper and boom right over here let me go ahead and take these out beautiful looking shoe though don't get me wrong it's a beautiful beautiful looking shoe is it the greatest shoe it's pretty simple and simplicity is just how it should be done like we got air force we got air force one supreme nike's coming out and they're simple and everyone loves them everyone's going crazy over them they're simple simple loco these are loud, but overall simple. Nothing too in-depth on the design. But I want to say how these came out. They were released on American Express. Well, and are linked through American Express to Dante's website. Bots took stock before it even went live to the public. Like on the back end, they were able to check out. So that really kind of ruined the release for a lot of people. And you did have to be an American Express card holder. Which ruined it because I tried to buy for two credit cards with American Express before it happened. I applied. I got denied both times. My homie applied. He got approved and he got his credit card number and all that stuff. But the thing is that the CVV came in four digits, not three and all that other stuff. So he had an issue with that and wasn't able to buy them. But, you know, these were very... I didn't even see that many people copying these either, to be honest with you. Very, very limited. Premium looking leather, though. It does look like a very, very good shoe. So right off the bat, you guys can see very slimmer once again to the Virgil Abloh MCAs. The colorway is just damn near the same but one thing you can feature we do have red tones coming all around so over here you know how the bloodlines did have the uh more like the outline of the entire sneaker this one doesn't have the outline like that but very minorly you can see it does have red along the swoosh right there that's very very faint you have an extra design as well on the inside of the air force which is this extra cage material cage design that's not typically found on uh, air force ones and these do come with the strap as well. I remember when I used to rock the Air Force One mid, the all whites, all whites in Jersey especially. I feel like that's such a iconic shoe, not only to, well, to New York as well, but to Jersey, bro. I feel like everyone in the high school days had a pair of 
Air Force One mid in the all white color or blacks or the blacks, but I guarantee you someone you guys definitely had to have them out of there, especially from Jersey. I remember that's the thing everyone was rocking. We do have air and red over here on the back of this mi uh, midsole as well. Then you have Nike embossed faintly in there and then Nike air. So double Nike branding, which is pretty uncommon for a sneaker like this. You can see there's extra material as well focused around the back heel of the shoe. Red branding. Oh, this is Nike Just Dawn though. It doesn't say Just Nike. It says Just Dawn. Oh my goodness. Add another eye and cut the end off. It looks like Just Dior. <sighs> We wait on those Dior's still. We're still waiting on them Dior's. But once again, it does come with the strap, and you can see the tumble leather along the strap does look very, very well, which is something I love. I love the tumble leather material. I think it's one of the best that Nike and Jordan brand do. But yo, on the inside, it also gets even, even crazier. So we do have a flag right over there on the inside of the actual shoe with the red satin material, baby. Red satin. And we can try to take out the insole if it's not glued down. This one does seem to be, and these were, I don't know what stock numbers were exactly, but I know that these were very, very limited. It looks like this, this smiths, the sole. Yeah, it's glued down heavy. That is glued down OD, but you do have just Don Ren on the middle of the blue midsole. So it's pretty much just blue and red. That's all you see. I like how they stay true, true to that through the entire sneaker. And the actual size tag is a US 8 and does, it looks like production date was from September, 2019 to November, 2019. That's when I feel like all all-star releases were manufactured from. Tag can be seen slightly on the inside. Uh, let's go ahead and not fully unlace him, but we can loosen it up a little bit on the tongue. By the way, on the front, it does say Force with that iconic classic branding with the half cut basketball on it as well. So you guys can see Force right there with the basketball. Tongue goes high on the inside. I'm going to try to show you guys a little bit better. But it's not going to be very tight. I do want to keep these with dead stock lacing. It does come with nice little silver lace tips over here. Overall, grand. You need to and unfortunately, your boy did run out of storage midway throughout this video, but I did actually manage throughout the other video end up getting this sneaker fully, fully unlaced. You guys can see a little bit better on the inside. It does say Just Dawn on the blue insole, and then you guys can see the size tag is featured right back here. So you guys saw it's a three-month production date, but that means um, for most sneakers that Nike does, it is pretty much a three-month production date on the size tag. Like, the thing that with this shoe is, though, a lot of people don't appreciate it because, A, the release details weren't that big. Like, it didn't release on sneakers, so therefore a lot of people don't even know that this shoe exists. It wasn't a high publicized event from Nike. It was pretty, pretty low key. The only people that really knew about it were like people who are heavily into the stinker community. And other than that though, people passed up on it. Like I feel like most people didn't know that American Express commissioned Don C to put an Air Force One out. I feel like more people didn't know about it because it's cool to see this. People might say, oh, it's infringing on the sneaker community, especially when I was listening to the Complex Sneaker Podcast. I know someone was coming at them saying it's kind of just weird that MX is American Express is coming at the Nike and sneaker community trying to do a limited run of sneakers, making it look a little bit weird. But I do appreciate it. Where did the blue colorway come from? Personally, I don't really know. I know it does have to pay, uh, play around with Doncey's uh, background, that it does have to do with the colorways and all. I'm not familiar with Chicago culture, to be honest with you. I don't, I'm not. I'm not from there. I don't really pay much attention to them, but respect if you're from Chicago because you guys had a crazy amount of good releases the past month. Uh, and unfortunately, it's probably gonna end up changing back to New York with just how it is. One thing I do want to notice is the air right here, bro. The air, oh, dude. It just the material on this shoe is good. It's decent as well, like, especially as I said, the tumble leather on the strap makes it very nice and loose. Doesn't make it too annoying. The tongue has tumble leather on it, but the satin material on the inside and that insole feels like a plastic rubbery insole, which means it might not be the most comfortable to be on. Oh, wait, is it? Nah, yeah, it's glued down heavy, but the insole does wrap around the entire, entire shoe. I wish I, I wish I could, you guys could feel it, but the insole just feels like mad rubbery. I can't even compare it to anything. And then, oh, the Just Don logo is like imprinted into the sole. And it almost feels like a Nike ID sneaker at the end of the day. It almost feels like he just uh, painted it blue with a Just Don, oh, the Just Don metallic lace lids right here. You guys can see on this pair, it does say Just and on this side, it does say Don right there. So you guys can see on the back, I think I did show you guys this. I don't even know what I showed you guys because the video cut out midway and I kept on talking. We have Just Don's on the back with the Nike Air, which once again is not very common. All around look, red. This is actually where the, your feet put the most amount of pressure, by the way, I think. Well, that's where the original sole design came from with Tinker Hatfield, if I'm not mistaken. And the red dots do come with the biggest pressure points on the feet when you do walk around. Resell, oh, by the way, the one thing I did also notice, which I've seen like they don't really do much of, First of all, there's an extra layer over here on this Air Force as well. You see this, how this extra casing does come around. It does cover half the swoosh, 
half the swoosh is gone. On this part, it does have like, it almost looks like a extra terrain, like a terrain air force. You know, typically when they do like terrain models, they do add a little bit more material to the sneaker, call it terrain, to make it a little bit thicker in support. I want to say, if you guys do have this shoe, the best bet is to pretty much go around and put on consignment. I would recommend putting on consignment. I'm going to put you guys up on the screen in three, two, one, what bam. Quick little video, and I'm not going to go much in three, so because this sneakers pretty much just about like having it in hand and giving us a review because very few people have this one but you guys can pretty much see smaller the size is going for more money size eight is probably the most valuable right now my size is actually doing pretty low i would on it no i don't know if i'd pay that much for the shoe because the thing is you can't really wear this on the regular you have to wear the special fit on a special occasion you can't just wear this i mean you can wear it on the daily no one's stopping you but personally myself i wouldn't i wouldn't really want to wear it on the daily especially if i'm paying that much Ooh, but the material is very nice, I gotta say. I like the material. So overall, as you see, same shoe on the screen. Size 8 is a great investment. Small sizes are the best. And once again, I did say they had no sneakers released, so a lot of people don't know about it. Like if you go off the uh, plums, for example... Or not the plums, the uh, the SBs. Like sometimes SBs don't have a sneakers release. Like most of them don't. Most people don't hear about it because everyone just goes on sneakers release, says, "Oh, this is all that's coming out from Nike on the high tier level." In reality, they really don't know. Like these didn't come out over there. The just ship packs didn't really have an official sneakers release either. So that's why I feel like a lot of people just sleep on releases that don't come out on sneakers, which is unfortunate because a lot of the fire shit doesn't come out. Like a decent amount of fire stuff doesn't come out on sneakers all the time. As you can see, so I said, if you guys have a pair, I'd recommend holding it or putting on consignment, such as Soul Stage, UN, Urban Necessities, Flight Club, and any of them like that, because they do have a higher clientele. And this looks like a very much of a designer sneaker. Dante is a designer, but it does look like a designer shoe, something that wealthier people would wear just because of the fact that it's all one color silhouette. It's easier. Uh, if they got money like that, they're willing to spend on just on one occasion. And this shoe can really pretty much be only worn on one occasion in the right way. If you wear it every day, I don't think you're doing it the right way. But if you do, respect to you either way. I said I feel like I said away there way too many times. You better get this weight up. Anyways, yo, hope you guys enjoyed that little resale predictions. Hold it for sure. If you guys are trying to buy a pair to invest, I don't say this. It isn't much of a volatile sneaker than that, though. I think it's a great shoe just to wear. Appreciate the design that went into it. And other than that, though, I give the Sawtooth an 8.5 out of 10. Only reason why it's not a full 10 out of 10 is, A, you can't wear it all the time. It's too regular. It's pretty expensive, especially, and I did not like the release they did. The fact that you had to be an American Express card holder, and it wasn't available to everyone else out there. I did apply. I did apply two times for a credit card. Uh, my homie applied one time. He got approved. I got denied twice, even though I have a pretty decent credit score. Not great, but it's decent. My boy applied. He got a credit card. He applied. He got it. But uh, the credit card details, he got as well in that same email, which I was surprised about, but the CVV was completely off. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this sneak review. Probably one of the only ones out here on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. If not, congratulations to the other people who do have it in hand. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. This week, we got a lot of good content. Retail resale price estimations. We got uh, in-store video vlogs. We got live cops. We also do have a few how-to cop guides. So thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.